What's up guys? My name is Joe Spracklin. I'm a Barber Brigade staff member and elite powerlifter. And today we're gonna go over pin presses. So first let's go over the setup. It's really easy. Set up in either a squat rack or on a rig. All you need to be able to do is adjust the pins to a certain height to where you're gonna be pressing off of. You're gonna want just the pins three to five inches above your chest. Uh, this way we create a dead stop position for you to practice getting tight. Now that you're ready to go, you're gonna set up as you normally would for the bench press. The only difference is you wanna make sure the bar is lined up directly above the spot where you're gonna hit your chest. Be sure to get as tight as possible and press the bar straight up as you normally would for the bench. Being sure not to let the bar travel forward or backwards, this would cause injury and defeat the purpose of the lift. The reason why we do the pin press is because a lot of lifters struggle with the problem of not generating enough power out of the hole. This is usually due to lifters not being tight enough at the bottom of the bench. The pin press forces you to start from a dead stop position in a spot where form usually breaks down. Another added benefit of the pin press is going to help you work on your lockout and it's going to help you build bigger tries. The pin press is really similar to both your spoto press and your floor press in which they both work on your bottom sticking point and your lockout. There's a couple differences between these three movements. The spoto press requires you to stay tight and hold the weight throughout the entire movement. Or pin press, you rest the weights at the bottom of the rack and you generate force from there. Floor press, on the other hand, works more on your lockout and takes your legs fully out of the equation so you're fully focused on your upper body. Where pin press allows you to use your entire body and solely focus on generating power out of the bottom of your bench. Geo and I'm about to kick her ass with a few exercises. So our first exercise that we're going to start with is on these uh, boxes here <laughs> that you can see. Oh, the... so we're not the same height. Oh, <laughs> so close though. <laughs> so this is my box. This is going to be Geo's box over here because she's got some long legs. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to start just by placing one of your legs up here. 